Welcome to the Anatomy Everywhere YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the adductor canal. As you can see, the adductor canal starts at the apex of the femoral triangle or the end of the femoral triangle. It's a tunnel shape and the adductor canal ends at the adductor hiatus. The adductor canal also known as subsartorial canal. So I think you can see clearly it located beneath the sartorius muscle. This is the, uh, the long sartorius muscle. And another name is Hunter's canal. So why is, is this name? Because it was first described by the Scottish surgeon John Hunter in the context of treating popliteal aneurysm by ligating the femoral artery within this canal. So it has uh, another two names subsartorial or the hunter's canal. So this uh, canal located below the apex of the femoral triangle and it extends up to the adductor hiatus. It's actually a gutter shaped groove between the vastus medialis muscle and the adductor muscles of the thigh. We'll see what are these adductors. So from above it has adductor longus and below it has adductor magnus. So these two adductors make the flow of this adductor canal. You can see from this picture very clearly. So vastus medialis muscle form the anterior lateral wall of the adductor canal and then the adductor longus forms the posterior wall, then anterior medial wall formed by the sartorius muscle. Then you can appreciate now beneath the sartorius there is a fascia, fibrous roof. So this is the fascial roof of the adductor canal and this contains the subsartorial plexus. The subsartorial plexus actually made up of small branches from a medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh, saphenous nerve and the anterior division of the obturator nerve. So this plexus located between the uh, this uh, fascia and beneath this sartorius muscle. Then what are the contents of this canal? It contains the femoral artery and femoral vein and the saphenous nerve and the nerve to vastus medialis. So this nerve to vastus medialis we can see in the upper part of the canal. few words about subsartorial plexus. Now it's a uh, supply sensory innervation to the overlying fascia lata. Then the femoral artery, what happens to it? So femoral artery leaves the adductor canal by passing into the popliteal fossa through the adductor hiatus. This located within the adductor magnus muscle. So it passes between the hamstrings and the adductor part of the adductor magnus muscle. So then uh, if we uh, talk about the relations of uh, femoral artery, femoral vein and the saphenous nerve within the adductor canal. So at all the levels in the thigh, the artery lies between the saphenous nerve and the femoral vein. You can see clearly from uh, this picture. But uh, femoral vein ascends posteriorly until it reaches the femoral triangle where it lies medial to the femoral artery. Then the saphenous nerve passes across the femoral artery. Then below the opening in the adductor magnus, the saphenous nerve still continue to descend in the canal. So it will uh, descend up to the uh, medial malleolus of the uh, leg. In, in this picture, you can clearly see uh, the contents of the adductor canal. So in the, so in the upper part of the canal, we can see the nerve to vastus medialis as well. A bit about descending genicular artery. So it is arise from the femoral artery, just above the adductor hiatus. This passing downwards and divides into a superficial saphenous artery which accompanies the saphenous nerve downwards and then deep branch, this is the muscular branch, this enters into the vastus medialis muscle and also join the arterial anastomosis around the knee joint. Thank you and I hope you learned something from this video.